All barricades erected. Area locked down. What's going on you guys and right here we got a another episode of Moab Sunday and most likely this one will be on time and uh, this Moab was actually unexpected because uh, I, I wasn't actually going for a Moab I was just playing for fun and well I always play for fun but this one I wasn't actually trying to get a Moab so it's pretty it's pretty awesome that I actually got it without without even uh, trying to, to get in the first place but uh, lately I've been trying to get a Moab on on terminal since it's the new map pack that came out well not really map pack just a new map that came out for model fair 3 and i thought it would be really sort of special to get a moab on there but i actually almost got one too i need about two or three more kills but the game ended and which really sucks because i was playing domination and uh at first i was rushing i was rushing the team and i actually got like eight kills on the spot in the beginning and then I had to work my way all the way up to about like 19 or 20 kills and which really sucks because I, I was gonna get the Moab too I had an adrenaline rush I knew where the team was spawning and terminal spawns is pretty it's pretty self-explanatory you know they spawn either by uh, the big airplane where you spawn or by the what, what are those things called metal detectors yeah or they'll spawn right around there or even by domination a right around there uh, they usually spawn right there and also the escalators they all they also just spawn there uh, so that those are just the main spawns so you know it's pretty easy if you go ahead and take a route by the escalators if you run around by by those windows in the let's see what's it called but I think it's B it's yeah I think it's B search and destroy if you hang around around there by the escalators then you can go ahead and uh, and go ahead and trap the team and just spawn kill them which I almost did I almost did but the game ended which really bugged me because uh, I'm not sure if anybody's actually gone to Moab yet on terminal I'm gonna have to YouTube that real quick and phone shut up <laughs> There's my phone again, trying to be a camera whore, or commentary whore, whatever we're calling it. So yeah, it really sucks, it really does suck. It was I was trying to get it for this Sunday, but I'm going to try to get it again. I'm going to keep on trying because I want to be the first person to get a Moab on Terminal, unless it's already been done. But I mean, I want to be one of the first. So, anyways, I want to go ahead and try to get another Moab on terminal by by next Sunday by next Sunday and if I do get it you'll see it on Moab Sunday and which will be very very awesome if I do it'll be very awesome if I was like one of the first which would be that would be amazing that would sort of be like a self-explanatory well, well nah not really it would sort of be like a, a self reward to me being one of the first in anything in Call of Duty because there's a lot of good players and they could probably get a Moab like first game they play. And for me, you know, it sort of takes a while. I can get it. I can get Moabs, but you know, it does it does take me quite a while to find, you know, the right game, the right connection, the right gun to use in a certain map. And you know, the, using a certain gun on a map doesn't always work out. Like using the MP7, what's a good map for it? Uh Arcaden? Using an MP7 on that, I'm really good with mp7 on arcade and, and i i got most of my moabs on arcade and with the mp7 and that maps really really is good for the mp7 but you know i almost i <laughs> i can't tell you how many times i almost got a moab on arcade and with the mp7 and i failed so you know not every map can work with just one gun yet the it's it sort of depends on which gun that you can make work for you because if you if you try to kill somebody at a long range with say like a PP90, then you're you have to have pretty good accuracy. And, and me, I have pretty good accuracy, but I tend to sway along, so most of the time I don't get them unless I get lucky and actually kill them with the last few bullets I got. But so yeah, it sort of depends on what kind of player you are and how you play and 
how basically how you you know your logic at Call of Duty. And right here, I keep hearing footsteps because uh, I have turtle beaches and I hear somebody camping right there. And see right there, people are chucking grenades down there. And I kept hearing, and I knew I was on a streak too, so I wanted to wait there and be careful. Right here, I just sort of uh, made a big gulp and sucked it up and just ran for it. And luckily, I didn't get killed. So I hear people just shooting rockets in this game I don't know why but people were using a, a, a crap load of rockets and trying to kill each other and except oh yeah by the way if you want to have a fun class I've been using this class for a while and it's basically just a striker and your secondary is the small and then your tactical or you like your um, your weapon of defense I guess is the I forgot what's it called the C4 and then it's concussion grenade and then the perks are sleight of hand quick draw and what's the third one dead silence there we go so if you have if you want a fun class to use uh, to sort of troll people because I, I was on terminal and I was playing um, with the striker and I got I went 57 and and 10 which is pretty amazing considering the striker isn't the best thing at long range but it's freaking it, it's a beast at in short distance and plus with damage it's amazing but go ahead and try that class because I actually I actually convinced people not really convinced but they they saw me using it and it was a lot of fun and I got a whole bunch of kills and I, I actually got the striker gold which is awesome because Apparently shotguns aren't really that easy to get gold, which I don't really agree with because I got it pretty easy. Uh, except with the models, that would probably be the hardest one because the models aren't good at all. Unless you have damage, then I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure I haven't used re I haven't really gotten a uh, model to to damage yet, so that I'll, I'll have to experiment with that. But yeah, I just prestige, so it'll probably take me a while to actually... Uh, to actually test that out but yeah so the next time you see this I don't know what prestige I'm gonna get I'm, I'm right now I'm 16th which is which some of you guys are probably gonna be like Whoa, what no you're not uh, because some of you guys watch my road to commander and on that I'm actually what like 9th or 10th prestige <laughs> which is crazy I prestige like six times in the last I don't know how long my like the end of my road to commander was like two months probably yeah so and also had a big like break for a month so I, I guess just one month that I've stopped so yeah which is pretty insane right here I got the Moab and up oh, burp I don't know why but I keep burping through my commentaries I don't I don't, I don't really get that so anyways you guys I'm gonna keep trying to get that terminal Moab and anyways yeah try to try to use that class because I got people to use that class and they had a lot of fun with it and we had like this whole lobby set and it was freaking amazing everybody was using smalls and rockets and strikers and c4s it was just amazing so anyways you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the Moab and that's pretty much it subscribe to this show to see more Moab Sundays and I'll see you guys later bye